too. Hello, and this presentation will be on music's impact on education. I have been researching this topic in order to see and understand if music impacts a person's results in academics, such as on um, test scores, SATs, or any relevance to academics. I'm really interested in this topic, and I hope you enjoy this presentation, Mr. Tuttle. I will give you a brief bio. Um, I am. I graduated from Eastside this year, and I'll be attending UC Riverside and majoring in business economics. So let's dive in the presentation. So what is music? So music is the art of combining vocal and instrumental sounds to produce harmony and emotion. Such instruments, instruments involve guitars and drums and other objects to produce a certain melody, and each one is differed by how it is played. And we hear vibrations, not words. So everything we say, sing, or what I'm saying right now is a sound, and the sound is a vibration of air or in any medium. So words that come out from our mouths are vibrations of airs, and these vibrations are traveled in sound waves, and sound waves change depending on the frequency or at how it is said. So how does the brain process sound or music uh, essentially? So it goes through various uh, um, stages through the ear. It goes through the outer ear, the middle ear, and then the inner ear. The outer ear is the, the pina, which is the one part outside of the brain. It is the, this part. And um, it goes through the, um, through the ear canal where it ends up hitting your tympanic membrane, which is your eardrum. And when the sound hits the um, eardrum, it ends up trying to be, fam uh, be familiar and actually be the same. So it can travel up to the ossicle, which is a three-part three bone, which is the smallest bones in the body. And then it goes into the cornea, which is the inner ear, which is actually where the hair cells are located. And these hair cells, are, um, when these sounds and vibrations um, hit the hair cells, it, they end up swinging back and forth, creating, they end up creating an electrical signal, sending it to the brain and to the auditory cortex. So cognitive neuroscience. So music is involved in psychology through many related fields to test the behavior and the mindset of the individual, like cognitive neuroscience of music, um, it is the scientific study of the brain-based mechanisms involved in the cognitive process underlying music. So it is the, um, distinguished from, um, from very related fields such as music psychology, music cognition, and cognitive psychology. And these fields have different purposes, such as like different test methods in order to see the impact on um, the behavior of individuals. And these behaviors are very uh, related to one, to one another because it includes music listening, performing, reading, and writing. And these tasks, which I will be later talking on about in my next slide, are very similar to language, which is my next point on how music is actually a language. So, like I said, music, music learning is a language. So similar to a verbal language because you're learning lexical skills and improving on pitch discrimination. So you're learning how to like read a certain um, note or how to produce it in a certain instrument. And it's, uh, our brain is not fully developed at birth and cannot process information clearly. However, due to early exposure, such as the, um, if the auditory cortex is exposed to music at an early age, it'll actually be better in the long run. So it um, more exposure to music. And like I said, language is verbal and music is practice. So defining that music is practice because you're practicing how to get a certain keynotes right and not actually like learning why this, how this note is written or why it's it's mostly uh, worked on mechanic skills, uh, motor skills and mechanics of the person. And, and the reason why I've decided to do this is because 
More parents are giving music lessons to their kids because research has, research has shown that music lessons at an early age improve academics. And despite that, not everybody has to, um, been taking music lessons. I've been exposed to it soon. And let's, uh, let's go into my article. In effectiveness of music education for the improvement of reading skills and academic achievement in young core readers, a, pr a pragmatic cluster randomized control clinical trial. Hugo, Co, Morena, and etc. and all argue that music lessons during their school year can enhance the performance of Brazilian children with reading difficulties and enhanced reading abilities. So in this graph, the effects of music education concerning the ITT and the case. In this experiment, Brazilian children with reading difficulties were separated into three groups. The control group, which received no music lessons, the ITT, which um, they assumed that children in those schools re um, received music lessons, and the case group, which is the group that we know that received music lessons. And the ITT group assume that every child in the intervention school receives some music lessons, like I said. And in the red box, the ITT group scored 2.57 2, um, 2 more words per minute than students in the control group, and as well as the students in the case, um, the uh, CACE scored actually 13.98 more words than um, per minute than children in the control group identifying that music lessons actually had an impact on students' results throughout the year. And these, uh, and what makes it more significant is that these children had um, reading, um, uh, dis uh, had problems with reading. So my final thoughts through re reading and various articles, music has been a controversial topic towards academic performance and ability to enhance scores. Various methods of music education increase and decrease scores of students. However, I focus on music lessons because it is an extracurricular activity that does not need to be used in a classroom setting. Music lessons will be used in my future for my family because I want them to be integrated with their music and not just learn it from, actually be intrigued with it. Thank you for the presentation.